I haven't made videos recently because it's been quite busy here at the ranch. We have the heifers that have, uh, they're pregnant, they've never had a calf before, which is why we call them heifers. Uh, they're here at the ranch so that we can keep an eye on them and if they need help uh, having their babies, we're there to help them. And it's been more work than the previous uh, couple of months, so I haven't made any videos, I haven't answered any uh, messages in YouTube or anything. The reason that I'm taking the time to make this video is I saw a video by <sighs> The Metal Cutter and it was typical of the attempts that one sees on YouTube for people to make a self-perpetuating device using magnetic repulsion and attraction. We know it is impossible. Um, physics demonstrated that 200 years ago, if not more. And I wasn't going to actually make a reply video because why bother? Um, it's kind of pointless to tell people that it's impossible because they have to do it themselves, they have to try it themselves uh, before they will actually believe that it is, if not impossible, then at least extremely, extremely difficult. But at the end of his video, when he said, it doesn't work, he sounded extremely sad about that and that is what's making me make this video. And here is a clip of the end of that video. So it doesn't work. And that in turn makes me sad also. You know, the physics involved is in my head, but I lack the irradiation. I, I lack the skills to get the physics, the explanation of why it is impossible out of my head and into a video and even if I could do that people are still going to try it because they will not believe the physics involved say it's impo says it's impossible they have to try it themselves and they have to fail and then they have to squander their time and effort and resources trying to build these devices and the problem is when they fail one of the problems that doesn't tell them that the reason they failed is because it's impossible. They tend to still believe that it is possible, but um, they couldn't do it, but other people might or other people have. There is a bloody hell of a lot of con artists out of there, crooks, thieves, fiends, who claim they have achieved what uh, the metal cutter tried and failed to achieve. And for a small fee, you can invest in their devices so that later on, when they are mass-produced, you will reap uh, uh, your investment rewards and you'll also be able to buy one of their devices a whole lot cheaper. And these devices are never, never produced because they cannot do what the crooks who claim they do says they do. It is impossible and the people who still believe it is possible and they have to spend their time building these devices and testing them and finding out that they don't work, it is, um, I guess, being sad about that isn't the right word. It's, I'm disappointed, I guess, that these people, they build their devices and they try to make them work and they're not looking at the literature behind all that and behind the attempts the 200 plus years of knowing that these devices cannot work because if they did they would violate the laws that govern the universe these uh, people are not standing on the shoulders of the giants that came before them that explained why it's impossible. Gra gravity!